SignAll is the first sign-to-text solution that enables real-time communication for the hearing impaired with mass market appeal. It automatically processes sign language into grammatically correct sentences, enabling easy access for the hearing impaired to everyday services. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Solt Robotka. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So thank you for this opportunity. It's an honor being on this big stage. So you have heard many interesting talks about artificial intelligence and how it is going to change our lives in the future. And I would like to show you an example how these new technologies will improve the lives of millions directly. So I am the founder of Sinol, that is the first machine translator for sign languages. So there are 70 million people around the world who use sign language as a primary language. So you know, it is extremely hard to learn a language without hearing it. And that's why the reading and writing skills of people who were born deaf are usually insufficient. So they prefer to use their primary language, sign language. But that means they need the help of an interpreter for everyday situations like running an errand at a bank or seeing the doctor. Let me share a personal experience with you. Uh, when we hired our first deaf employee, Milad, I requested an interpreter for the discussion of the parameters and the negotiation. But I couldn't find any because it was flu season and there were no available interpreters. So we had to delay his employment by two weeks and it was frustrating. I believe that deaf people should have the opportunity to communicate anytime, anywhere, spontaneously. So the substitution of human inter interpreters is a big challenge facing mankind. And Sino breaks the barriers in a technology where many others failed, but we would like to be the game changers. So we developed the first working automatic sign language translation system. It's a kit of simple devices plus our unique software. So deaf person just stands in front of Sino's cameras and starts signing. The system interprets the signs into complete sentences on a screen. The opposite direction is also available, so an animated avatar will translate in backwards. So you, you may ask how it works. So basically there are three big steps. All applies artificial intelligence technologies. So the first is computer vision. So we had to measure all the gestures accurately. And sign language is not only about handshakes. The whole upper body, the movements, even the facial expressions are very important. For example, I can make a question from a declarative sentence by just pulling my eyebrows up. So it's a very complex thing, and we should measure everything accurately. So because of that, we use a multiple camera setup to measure everything. The next step is the recognition of the signs in this multidimensional data. In order to do this, we are collecting now the world's biggest database of sign languages. In these months, we are recording tons of videos around the United States. But the recognition of the signs is still not enough because it is a totally different language. It's an individual natural language with its own structures and linguistics. So the recognized sign sequence should be translated. So, so, uh, so we had to develop a machine translation engine as well. Let me show you how it works. So during a sentence, you can see just a list of the pro uh, probable signs. The translation is finalized at the end of the sentence when he put down his hands. Here it comes. So ever since computer vision was invented, sign language recognition had been in the focus of research. However, in so far, our rivals delivered partial results only. They are all two steps behind us. None of them measures all the dimensions of signing, and now none of them provides sentence-level translation. Signal is a product of our long research. It took us five years to develop the first prototype that, is, that was able to translate a limited dictionary of 300 signs. 
We presented it at the greatest festivals and collected a series of awards and finally raised one and a half million euros last year. And that takes us to the first pilot. So we are on a track to start piloting the system in the United States from the beginning of next year. Our team consists of 30 people, including research geniuses, and we have many deaf people in our team. So I'm proud to have Dawn, who is not only deaf herself, but she has a master's in linguistics. And she moved from the United States to Budapest to work with us. Actually, our entire team learns how to sign, and I have to tell you, it is a beautiful language. So being a startup and, and having this huge social impact often confuses people. So during our fundraising period, many people asked me if we were nonprofits. Not at all. Anyways, we, we are targeting a very appealing market. For example, in the US, uh, the market leader of remote interpretation services for sign languages generates $1 billion annually. And we will disrupt this market by the first scalable technology. So I can tell you we have a very impressive uh, business plan as well, but we will have a positive impact on the lives of millions. So we are in the intersection of high return and huge social impact. And this is an existing category. Recently, an author at TechCrunch uh, introduced a new term, good business, for this category. And I do not believe that we should choose between profit and social impact. So I, actually, I'm happy to see more and more startups in this category. So I do believe that more people should work on good businesses. And I have some numbers to prove my point. So last year, good businesses like ours raised 18 billion dollars. And more importantly, now there's a growing number of impact VCs, impact uh, venture capital funds, who are focusing only on good businesses. And it's, it's funny and, and it's maybe surprising, but there's now a social stock exchange especially designed for good businesses. It was founded in the UK and it lists only companies from this category. So, let me close my speech with another uh, personal experience. So, we receive dozens of Facebook messages and emails every day from all over the world. And it is extremely motivating. So, running a good business is elating. So, we have only just one life and we should spend it wisely. So, I, I do believe that the best minds of our age should work on impact-driven projects instead of trading algorithms or advertisement technologies. So I do encourage all of you here, potential founders and investors, to start, run, and invest into good businesses. Believe me, it's worth it from every aspect. Thank you. <laughs>